tell me about this ride. Well, uh, I heard about this crazy route that encompasses pretty much all of the most famous, well-loved trails in the area. It's called the CB Classic. It used to be a race, and it's 100 miles. It has 17,000 feet of climbing, um, and it just sounds crazy. It sounds like an awesome way to just fit a whole bunch of the best stuff into one ride yeah. in one day. So that's, that's what I want to do. It will be tough, um, but I'm really excited. I mean, there's just no better way to, to get to know a new place yeah. than by bike. So it's true. Pretty psyched. So that's you know. gigantic. Are you planning on having some help or what's your... <laughs> I want to do it self-supported. I think there's something really cool about being out there on a huge ride in the backcountry and being totally self-reliant. So that's the plan. We will see what actually happens. Do you need anything from me? I know it's self-supported, but... Um, I'd love to see you a couple times. Um, <laughs> you can make that happen does go in 12 hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll have my tracker on me, so if you feel like cutting me off a couple points, that would be... Awesome. That would be nice. This is your start. That's right. Okay. Here. Oh, lower. so it goes out, yeah, goes out lower loop, climbs up to 403. descends down to the road that you climb up to get to 401. Hello, how's it going? How are you? Good. Obviously, 401 is one of the most famous trails in the world. Yeah. Um, I've actually never ridden it, so it'll be fun to see that. Send down through the little town of Gothic, um, and then climb uh, Deer Creek, which looks like it's sort of a little bit of a sneaky climb. Like it gets overshadowed by some of these other massive climbs on the route, but it, in its own right, is a huge climb. I was lifting my bike and I looked down and this bolt was just out and like barely being held in by the chain ring. I literally took the chain ring off and then like had to put the perfect pressure on the rear triangle to get the pivot to align. Thank goodness you didn't lose the bolt. I know, it was barely being held in. My hands are going to be and arms absolutely destroyed between filtering water and riding 17,000 feet of descending. Okay. Thank you. Have a good one. Ridge is 
about halfway through-ish, I think like 50 miles, and then you go back up 400, which looks like an absolutely massive climb. All the way up to Hunter Hill, which tops out at 12,000 feet above tree line. I'm guessing it's just gonna be like a slog. Here is another classic loop in its own right, which is Reno, Flag, Bear to Dead Man's. I know a lot of people do that as a that's, big loop, yeah. and that's just like a part of this massive loop. Deadman's, which looks wild. It's just a ton of switchbacks. It's just mostly what it is, is concentrating for so long. Like your eyes are just so, you know how it is when you're reading trail fast. And when you do that for a million hours in a row, your, at least my head starts to ache a little bit. Oh, my back is toast. 